Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Wednesday, February 20th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Let's begin with Downton Abbey on PBS. It closed its very successful third season on Sunday with 8.2 million viewers. And if you compare that to the second season finale, that was up by a hefty 50%. The amazing thing about that performance is if you take those 8.2 million viewers and you stack it up against the broadcast network series, in all likelihood, that would have been a top 20 most watched show for the week. And this is PBS. So that is very impressive. Downton Abbey closed its third season. 8.2 million viewers. Now let's head to Network Daytime. I gave you an update on the scorecard of the daytime talk shows. As I mentioned the last time I did it, the view on ABC remains the highest rated. There is no reason to believe that will change any time in the near future. However, the view remains down year to year by double digit percentages and both the talk on CBS and the two on ABC have increased by minor proportions in total viewers, so they have narrowed the gap. For the first time, I took a look at the network daytime dramas. There were only four currently on the air. Once upon a time, there was like eight of them. Well, The Young and the Restless on CBS is the most watched and the highest rated demographically, but what is interesting about the four, including General Hospital on ABC, is they are all up by double-digit percentages among women 18 to 34, which means the audience skew is younger this season. As for General Hospital, I know there is a lot of concern out there that ABC is going to cancel the 50-year-old daytime drama, but the ratings remain up year to year by moving to 2 o'clock. I think ABC would be absolutely cuckoo to let it go. I haven't heard any news on this. There's been nothing written in recent weeks, but I presume or at least I hope that ABC will give General Hospital a 51st season. Let's head over to HBO. The critically acclaimed drama Game of Thrones is heading to five different cities where it will feature a free exhibit on the show featuring many different artifacts and costumes and everything on the show. You can get more information at our newsletter, I have a link for the website to go to, and the Game of Thrones exhibit will be heading to New York, Toronto, Belfast, Amsterdam, and Seo Paolo, I think I'm pronouncing that right, so go to our newsletter and you can get a link for that. In the world of boxing, Floyd Mayweather has signed what is referred to as a groundbreaking deal with Showtime Networks and CBS, who will be running his matches on pay-per-view. He will do as many as six fights over the next 30 months. They have not revealed what the financial aspects are, but apparently it is pretty big. Our games guru, Douglas Pucci, has put together his annual Academy Awards contest and Razzie's contest. If you want to chime in who you think is going to win an Oscar or win, or if you can call win a Razzie a good thing, I have a link for you on our newsletter today. In TV history, we have two long-running series, Perry Mason, the legal drama, and classic sitcom The Jeffersons hit the 200-episode mark on this day. Then in 2009, Conan O'Brien had his final appearance as host of The Tonight Show on NBC. Now, that was one of the classic blunders in television history. Of course, as you remember, Jay Leno left The Tonight Show, went into prime time Monday to Friday at 10 o'clock, and NBC moved up Conan O'Brien into the Tonight Show spot. Well, Leno floundered in prime time, and what people did not write about at the time was Conan O'Brien really lost steam. Ratings went way down, and speaking of ratings, it's interesting how you never hear how he is doing on TBS. Isn't that interesting? So on this day, Conan O'Brien had his last appearance as host of The Tonight Show. And of course, Jay Leno went back to that chair. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 20th day of February. I hope everybody has a great day. And I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow.